Welcome back everybody to Marta Archery. Today the next review. The AF Assyrian Bow Babylon. As promised and another long draw monster. I can tell, but let's see what you get first. Of course you get your bow in a plastic wrap sleeve. I made less on my comment. Please guys, be one of the first in China put your things in this cardboard thingies and don't use plastic anymore. Doesn't make sense. So you get a D97 string. There's even the length written on it, everything nice. So you really know what you get. You get a sticker. And so then you have these two sleeves, which is makes unboxing quite easy, but still plastic. But what can you do? Then you get the sleeve as we know it. So the Assyrian bow, I'm looking forward to this bow. Sounds very interesting. I'll give you the specs in a second. Oh, nice. Look at this one, huh? Hmm. Bomba. So we put the sleeve away. We need to protect everything. It's a little windy today. So the Assyrian bow. What I can tell you, the ends here look really almost like from a Tatar or an Ottoman bow, but very, very narrow, very thin, everything very thin and fragile then we have a nice grip here with this really nice to hold extremely narrow wait a second this is the <laughs> upside a very very narrow air so this is a narrowest arrow pass i think i saw of an af oh pretty pretty has a nice flex in the handle has these two arrow inlays here we have this small string not string bridge but string groove like we saw on the this uh she should be should be should be bow nice made so technical specifications has a total length of one meter 58 has a string length of one meter 46 has a max draw of 35 inches we see then the string is d97 as said you can have this from 20 to 50 pounds and of course again bare pro glass black walnut and technical wood whatever that means and you can have it again in apple maple or ash and the price was 396 dollars plus shipping now they lowered it like with the other boat to two to 318.33 so for me again 320 dollars and this is the logo feeling and shipping again around 16 dollars so 335 you get this bow i like this handle a lot that feels really good even for a long bow like this very good mm. so let's see unfortunately there's never a brace site mentioned so af archery if you listen always write the brace site on it that people know what they have to expect. This bow has 60 inches and does 35 inch max draw, which gives it an F value of, ding ding. There's a pound written 35 pounds and there it's written 35 pounds at 28. We see what we get then at 35, if I manage to draw 35. That's probably not. So. Shall we string it? Stringing, I think, is not too difficult. It simply depends how wobbly this bow is, but we will see in a second. But what I like, at least they take care of their strings too, so it's not everything simply cramped in the box. Looks similar, so we simply use one end. String is again yellow red not my favorite color and then we have this white protection whipping here yeah it's fine stringing is easy easy string is here in the groove is here in the groove and then you let it go so look at this pretty bow looks like this a bit like the true design from Ali bow and all these Assyrian bows angular bows and whatever you want to call them looks quite fancy here brace head is six inches again or maybe six and a quarter 
if I'm not mistaken, if I didn't shrink since yesterday. Uh, six and a half, <laughs> shrunk. Six and a half inches. Wow. Now you don't see me, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Draw experience. Oof. So, of course, you don't have extremely recurve, so there's nothing helping you now bending. You really have to bend the bow. 28 is nice. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Never ending. Nice. So, I can tell oh, there is totally nothing. Wow, that's nice. This is a 35 inch arrow, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, wow. Ooh. I think it's a fast one. So, 180 foot per second are to be expected, but we need to see, of course, we have the measurements times six with the draw weight, and we need to see what the draw weight is at 35. And then we get there. Only because I can hear you already. Look at this. Uh, Ali Chu, Babylon AF. Smaller in the handle, more narrow. Overall here in the handle section, the AF, and overall very much more thin limbs. But at the end, they come together almost similar. Here we don't have a string groove. The string ends simply here in this, uh, can't get anywhere with the Alibo. And here we have a string groove, which is a little less safe than this one, but it's fine when the wiggle test is fine. But you see how similar these two bow look. That means, oh yeah, okay, you see a little more curvature in the Chu design bow. But as they are both 35 inch draw, so most probably we might do a comparison with this one. But we see, so now let's see. Boy, we got test, it's stiff. And even look at this, even in this direction, it's such a thin bow. Thin limbs here, very narrow, very narrow, thin. Thin, 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 and it's, you need to force it. Well done. Nice. This is 28, 33.96, so 34 pounds. They said 35, yeah, that's fine by me. One pound less is okay. 30, we have 36.8. Thirty-two we have forty point one. No forty-one. 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 41. Oh, zero, come on. Thirty-four we have forty-five. And thirty-five. Still fine here? Yeah, it's still fine. Got it over there. So Thirty-five would be forty-seven pounds. So now look at the pretty. Twenty-eight. So, what do we see? Not there yet. Thirty. There. Thirty inches. 60 degree string angle. But this is to be expected because you don't have heavy recurves. It's almost like a longbow. So that's normal, I guess. 32. Nice curve, huh? Nice curves. And 34. It's, it's nice, nice balanced. Looks very good. Uh, I can't draw no 35 because my dots are 34 and 36. I don't want to draw this bow no 36. But just when I did the measuring, it would do most probably 36, but we don't. Okay. That would be the bow at 36, which we don't draw, of course, okay? And look, I can leave my bow a minute like this, and it doesn't harm the bow. 
when you have a good bow, it's no problem. Yeah, long bow. 47 at full draw. Now let's see what we have. We start with these 34 inch arrows. They are four, I forgot now, 460, I think. Need to check again then later. This shelf is so narrow, it's almost a center shot. Oh, that's cool. So that's nice. Let's see one more time. <laughs> Feels good, doesn't feel that fast now. Um, they are, they are 500, they are 460, I need to check again, I forgot now. Let me shoot them and then we get that stuff later, a bit longer. So now with Katra, feels good, even if it's a longer-ish bow, 60 inches. Likes to draw, likes to be drawn, even this longer draw length, you see that, it's no problem whatsoever. These arrows are 36 inches, so we don't draw them fully. They are, forgot again what it's written there, 400, almost 500, yeah. They're 500, so, and we have 47. We should be fine. Oh, whew, nice. So you need to train your shoulder properly for this ones. And then lean into the bow. Nice, and we have some heavy ones, they are 650, they are from Fairbo Netherlands, only to see. Kicks them away too, it's no problem. But hand wise I didn't feel now anything with any arrow, so I would go with the recommendation of 0 0.6 of the draw weight. Oh. String is a little bitey, so you have times six, means you know you have 47 times six, then you have grams and you convert it into a grain, and then you know what your minimum arrow weight shall be. Shoot the arrows really nice away. Oh, it's, it's a nice bow. Draw experience is extremely beautiful 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. You can see it builds up gently. Hmm, nice one, AF. I measured them now one more time. The my long ones, they're 460 grain. We can draw them as full as possible, 20 meters. Ooh, way too low. This one. Yep. And 30 meters. Did you see that? Now we have the next ones are mine. They are 500. Hmm. I like that bow. A bit too high. Ay, ay, ay. Overcompensating, huh? Ooh, a bit wobbly because I didn't care about the release. The next ones are Alibo, they are 530 grain. Oh, did you see that? Little Katra. Bit on the side. We can do this better. Yes. You feel a little the bend in the handle, but it's not annoying. And they are 630, Fairbo Netherlands, a bit too heavy for this bow. But still, no problem. Now then it drops a little 30 meters, you need to compensate already with these heavy arrows. But look at this, Katra. This bow is very forgiving because there is no movement. 
a few shots and you are there. Really well done. 460 grain. I didn't measure. Too far away, huh? 170. Yep, oh wait, that's the wrong one. This is a 460 grain. 193. <laughs> so 500 grain. No, minor 500 weight. These are 500. Sixty-one. Didn't draw full. Hundred seventy. Yep. But they're only thirty-four inches. Hundred seventy-five. I need to move a little. But I don't break my arrows. They are five hundred thirty. Alibo. It likes to draw 181. This bow is awesome. 178. I don't do any cutter or something. 173. And 630. Too heavy. One hundred fifty-six. Still fine. Hundred sixty-two. Fifty-eight. Not the biggest fan of this design, but this bow performs very, very well. I am impressed. So let's shoot the lightweight ones. There should be a bit more in it, huh? Maybe with a little katra or something, huh? Hundred sixty-seven. Mine. Thirty-four inches. 186, this is more likely how it feels, yes. 166. Not full drawn, every inch counts here. See, 176, you can tell every inch has directly a difference of 10 foot per second. And this bow likes to be drawn, so it's not that it feels uncomfortable. See that? 161, I don't think. Yeah, but they are now already 530 grain. That was a twist and a katra shot, 184. 161. Uh, it's enough, so see what you get. So let's see, would it make sense for horse archers? The thing is you have this bump here on the back makes it a little tricky to hold the arrows in your hand this way you you know it you can get used to it but it's a little tricky and you lose a little control of the bow so i think this is not the most beneficial way to hold the arrows neither this one the handle is not made for that so this handle is really made to hold only your bow and then it feels awesome when you have here some arrows in it it doesn't feel very good so i would simply go with quiver out of the hand whatever let's see what 29 inch arrows would do they are 320 grain shoots them away so if you like the design but you only have a draw of 29 inches or something cut and string twist center shot works everything works with this bow feels really really good I said this bow design is not mine. I like it more curvy, but the feeling of it. So with the 320 grain, just you felt a little the vibration in the handle. Everything else here, even when you draw 30 inches or 32. Look, this is 30. Nice center shoot. This is 33. Nice. 34. Nice, but of course it was a sloppy release. And 35, and center shot. It feels really good in there. Oh, why does my pinky hurt now? So I don't know. 
my pinky starts shaking. So for me, the handle is a little too small, so my pinky has nothing to hold on there, and it gets a little tired. So if you have big hands, this handle is maybe a little too small for you. But you can practice all your string twist and hatra. Every draw length is fine with this bow. It's a fun shooter. Speedy enough, I guess. Hmm. One more, and then I'm done. I'm not, but it's fun. Yeah, yeah, you need the grip for the controls. You don't want to have arrows in your hand. Then you can do it. Feels good, feels good. It's a pretty bow. Um, vibration, hand choke, almost nothing, as long as the arrows are heavy enough. It looks very good. The build quality again. I have actually very thin. Very thin here. We have this small string groove here. Makes it safe that the string lands in here. But this bow is so stiff, I was impressed. So I have another asymmetrical hand bow which has the same limb width, but it's wiggly in every direction. This one is a stiff brick. It's very safe, very secure to shoot. Pretty bow, leather handle, the two inlays on both sides. And you see here how narrow the shelf is. This is not even one centimeter, maybe a centimeter. That's impressive to get this sturdiness out of a bow when it's so thin in the handle and you only feel the handle a little bending. So, but it depends how you hold the bow. When you do your high wrist grip, you don't feel anything and you gain half an inch of draw length. You know, high wrist, normal one, if I can tell and whatever. You gain half an inch and you get a little more draw out of it. Then you lean into the bow and as we have it. It, it has something, this bow has something, I like it. Simply not my design, but it's a very, very good bow. So, thank you very much uh, AF Archery for building these nice things. $320, you need to know if it's worth it. Does 34 inches easy, uh, 35, but you see with the poundage goes a little up, but the rest. And maybe it's like the other bow from AF, needs a few shots to get a bit more flexible than even 35, should be no problem. As you could see on the tiller stock, even 36 inches. This bow doesn't look that you do any harm to it. Very well made. Thank you very much, F Archery. Thank you all very much for watching and for your nice comments. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.